Well, hello everybody. It is now Monday the 1st of May. It's a bank holiday. It's not particularly nice outside. It's not raining, but it's very grey. But we're not doing anything. Paul's not feeling very well. He's been ill in the night, so... It's a nice relaxing day at home. I've got the washing on. I've got the dishwasher on. Uh, I might try and do some filming a bit later. And... Yeah, just going to chill out, have a shower in a bit, and... Maybe do a bit of reading? I hope so, anyway. I love my reading, you know me. Anyway, let's have some lunch. Time for a bit of garden, isn't it, Paul? Are you not feeling very well? No. What are you doing, Jan? I'm going to do some colouring. It's quite nice. A bit, bit overcast, a bit cloudy, but the sun comes out every now and again, doesn't it? Jennifer, have you got it? Is it alright? It might have come off when you dropped it. Yeah, but... Um, I can't see anything. Where? Oh, for God's sake, come here. Move. You don't worry about it, it's nothing exciting. Oh, a bit of fresh air. Make sure it don't go over the wall. Zed's yeah, yeah. sitting up on the fence. And she was out scrapping with a cat last night. I don't know what was going on, it was a hell of a noise. And then she sat up on that window, um, growling at whatever it was. She's just sitting there, look at her, she's so cute. What a beautiful Kit Kat she is. It's alright though, so she's not hurt or anything. Defended her territory, she is. Ooh, sweet cat. Paul's a bed asleep, so we've come out to go to bed, haven't we? Yes. Because he's not very well. So we've been watching Rebecca Zamola, haven't we? Yeah. Are we doing channel? This is for our channel. This is for Mummy's channel. This is the weekly vlog. Yeah. I'm come a bit closer because you're in the dark. Next time I will do it. Yeah. All right. Come here. With my own camera. You haven't got a cam well. You haven't got a video camera like this. Anyway, I finished reading Zombie Underground. I can't Who's show you the cover because she doesn't like it covers, which is fair enough. They're quite brutal. I hate it. And I've read for about an hour today. That's my biggest fear. Zombies. So I think you're going to be okay, babe. I. That's my biggest fear. That's my biggest fear. You don't like zombies, do you, baby? Yes. Yeah, I know. It's all right. But we're going to go to bed now because you've got school in the morning. Yes. And I've got work. But that's okay. Mm -hmm. See, I could eat her up like I'm a zombie. <laughs> no, I don't. Like not really. You. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. I might read a bit more, but I might not. Yeah, and guess what? Uh, what? what? No, don't say anything. Go to sleep. Yeah, all right. She's a zombie too. See you in the morning. Good morning. It is Tuesday, the second of May. Uh, Paul's ill still. He's up in bed, so I'm working at downstairs desk because it's it's a bit more space, and I like to spread out. And um, yeah, we're about to start. I'm going to put my headset on in a minute. Four minutes till the line's open. Four day week this week, and then a four day week next week. So it's a nice, easy time. So we got two bank holidays in the row because of coronation on Saturday. Um, yeah, very excited. Two short weeks. Very nice. We don't get that very often. Unless you're on holiday, of course. But <sighs> I'm so tired now. A copy of Icon is arriving today because I ordered another one from Amazon. I have emailed Bear Manor Media because. According to them, they haven't sent mine out, so I've asked to cancel. The way I look at it, if I end up with two copies, it doesn't really matter because I know that I'm going to wreck one with all the reading and debunking and videos I'm going to be making. And I plan, and if I do get to, on highlighting one copy rather than tabbing it because tabs look untidy. Um, so I will highlight it in different colours depending on what the, the thing is. <sighs> I'm so tired. Jennifer's in school. I better get ready. I'll see you afterwards. I, I didn't read much more last night. I think I'm just a, I'm on an hour and six of uh, reading today. But that's cool. I'm happy with that. I'll see you when I finish. So I was going to film my complete pages today. 
Right, I'm not, because A, I haven't got a memory card in this room, B, they're all in the room where Paul's sleeping, and C, I did get a notification from Amazon that my book was arriving early. It's supposed to originally come between 2 and 5, I got a, um, a message at eight at half past 1-ish saying that it was 8 stops away, and it's just this minute not long arrived. Here it is. Exciting. I've only got two other books today, so I'm going to show you quickly, but they, I will do a haul um, for April and then I'll do one at the end of May hopefully. I've got Colleen Hoover, It Ends With Us and Stephen King, Up to Pupil. I don't think that's Stephen King's going to fit on my shelf but it doesn't matter. I want to read it so very excited that this has arrived and I will be starting it shortly. Um, yes, Whee! I'm excited. Um, um, yeah so I was going to do that but I've got to go and get Jennifer in a bit so I'll, I, I've got a bit longer tomorrow so I'll, I'll actually do it tomorrow um, and get it all done tomorrow instead. I will see you then. Well, not tomorrow. I'll see you in a bit. I'm going to go and get Jen in a minute. <laughs> Bye. I am out in the car waiting for Jennifer to come out of school. I'm going to play a game in a minute. I've left the book at home because I know I, I just won't pick her up if I keep reading it. So I really won't work at home. Excuse me. Yeah. Oh, I'm enjoy going to enjoy this book. It won't take me long. 420 pages is nothing for me. Um, if I do get another copy of it and paperback and I can see which bits I'm going to highlight, I've already got an idea. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm delving in. When we get home, I'm going to delve into it. As, uh, Paul's up in bed and I'm I'm tired myself. I'll probably have a kip on the sofa. A few things to do this afternoon. But I'll see you when I get her home. Tuesday night and uh, I've just come up to bed. I am going to read for a bit. I'm going to read a bit of my Jack the Ripper book. Um, here, yeah. but the main reason I've come up is to try and get a chunk of this red. I've read a few pages, it's, it's making me cry already. Um, there's a tab in it, it's just because there's a quote there that I like. Um, yeah, so I will keep you posted as to how much I read before I go to sleep. No, maybe the whole book. So I'm off, um, I'll update you either before I go to sleep or first thing in the morning. So this weekend it's the King's Coronation, so we're having a party in the park, so we've got to go to town or something in the morning and then uh, we'll be going to the park for the celebrations because why not, it's something to do. I'll see you later. Good morning, it's Wednesday and I am getting ready for work. Um, well, I am working, I've just finished some emails, I'll just a few, few more before the phone's open at nine. Uh, lots to do today, I'm some filming. Because I was going to do it yesterday, but I didn't because I was waiting for Icon to arrive, so I'm going to do it today. And then I'll pick up Jen, and then I'm going to hit Icon hard. I have read a good bit of it. Well, if you, I mean, it's so sad. Um, it's like I said, when we celebrate Marilyn, we celebrate her life, um, and we think, like to think of her as this living, breathing person, which she was. Uh, we look at her photographs, we look at the films she made, we look at the newsreels of her, and she is vibrant and alive. And we don't... Although obviously we mark her past and we don't dwell on the details of it. And obviously this book is all details, so it's very sad. My heart goes out for Gary for having to wade through all the conspiracy rubbish um, to get this book written. I'm glad he did. It's fascinating reading. I am really enjoying it. Um, a lot of this I already knew. Um, this is laying the foundation for the book two, which is the big one. It's 800 pages long. Uh, book two is the meat and potatoes of it, where he really gets down to the nitty, nitty gritty. Um, but this is good background. Uh, he's hoping book two will be out in June. I'm hoping it will be because my birthday is in June and I intend to definitely treat myself to it. Obviously, I treat myself to everything. Uh, but, but I will be ordering it as soon as it, it, it is available on Amazon. I'm not making a mistake of ordering through Bear Manor again. Their customer service has been shocking this time. I've ordered from them before without any issues. They used to have a printing facility in the UK. That appears to not happen now, so they're shipping from Florida, which is not good customer service because they don't tell you that. Um, I've bought from them before. I think I bought the first copy of Icon from them and there was no issues with that at all, which was the first, uh, which was the Life of the Times and the films of Marilyn Monroe. Um, this is Icon, What Kills Marilyn Monroe, which is book three um, in the series of Icons or book one in the What Killed Marilyn Monroe books. It's complicated, but yeah, i better get going. It's almost time to start. I will, uh, I'll see you after. Yeah, it's very sad. It's very sad to read it all, but it needs to be done.
Okay guys, I finished work. I've just done some videos. I've just made four videos. I've done um, a book haul, my completed colouring pages for the month, my reading wrap up video and a flip through of this, which I have now finished. So this will be up before you read, before you see this. So hopefully you'll go and watch that. Very proud of myself. I'm gonna go downstairs with this memory card now, put it on the computer and start editing it. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to read a few pages of Icon before I have to go and get the little one from school. I feel... I feel amazing that I have done it. I've achieved something. Completing a colouring book is a big achievement. I am so, so happy. So I'm going to go downstairs and I will talk to you in a bit. I couldn't find the camera last night to wrap up the vlog or this morning because somebody put a piece of paper over it, Jennifer. And Jennifer's playing with her toys and I'm sitting up here reading my Jack the Ripper book because I finished Icon last night and it was a great book. Um, obviously I will wrap it up properly at the end of the month when I do my full reading wrap up. Um, and I obviously I'll do a TikTok on it when I feel a bit more up to it because I'm... Oh, it's raining, I got a bit wet getting Jennifer out of the car because it came started coming down and I'm hot as well so... I'm having a nice cup of tea and some popcorn while reading my Jack the Ripper book. And then tonight I'm going to have a shower when I'm drying my hair, I'll read my fictional Jack Ripper book. And then when I'm in bed, I'm going to read that new Elizabeth Peters book I got. Yeah, that's, that'd be good. Oh, it's not new, but obviously it's new to me. Hmm. So yeah, that's my reading plans for the next uh, little while. So I'm going to crack on. And so far, because I finished Icon last night, I only got it Tuesday, I have read, so far, it's Thursday today for six hours and 10 minutes nearly. Let's keep it going, I love reading. Jennifer's driving me up the wall. Where's your pillow? She's coming in here, she's doing my head in. Um, but I'm gonna read for a bit and she's going to go to sleep or else she's in trouble. But anyway, I've read nearly seven hours now. I've read a bit of that Ripper book. I wanna read a bit more of it tonight actually. Um, and I do want to start the Elizabeth Peters book, but I'm not too worried if I don't get very far with that. So I'm going to call it night and I'll see you tomorrow. Um, busy day. I've got a lot to do tomorrow because I've got to work. Uh, I've got to take Jennifer to breakfast first, then I've got to go to work, then I'm going to take my dad shopping, then I'm going to the dentists. Oh, it's all mad, I tell you. I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. As you can see, I am back in my office, my normal office. My Marianne collection over there, my colouring book collection over there. Getting ready for the, for, for um, uh, the last day of the week. Bang, holiday Monday, Monday. Yay! Can't wait. And yeah, I'm just uh, getting ready to start. Well, I've, I've started. I've been doing emails. But uh, the phones will be going live in approximately two minutes. Uh, so I'm just getting ready for that. But it's all good. What's happening this afternoon? I have to take Dad to shopping. And then I have to go to the dentist. Joy, lucky old me, eh? Never mind. It's all right. Just bored in. <coughs> Didn't do any reading last night because Jennifer wouldn't settle down. You know what she's like, she's terrible. So, I hopefully do some reading this afternoon while I'm at the dentist waiting to go in because it takes forever. Um, I'll see you soon. Bye. Back home now. Here's Jen eating some knickknacks, spicy ones she likes. She's a weird child. Paul's working. I've been to the dentist, need a fill in, need a scale. Normal. Well, not as filling, I haven't had one for a couple of years, so it's fine. I'm going to sit here and read my Jack the Ripper book for a bit, and Jennifer... Hey, shh, 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 shh. Knick -knack. Knick -knack. a knick-knack. There's a knick-knack, yeah. Down there, look. That's it. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to read for a bit and see how much I can get through with it. I'll uh, talk can to you in a bit. Can see the knick on the back? No, they can't see the knick-knack on the back, only on the front, because that's where the lens is. Look, there she is eating it. See? Yeah, she's got a whole packet of them. So yeah, I'm going to see what I can get done. It's Friday evening. Oh, afternoon. I'm knackered. Haven't done any reading. Because I put some washing on and it tripped the electric out. So we need a new washing machine. The problem is I've got clothes stuck in it. It's sealed. The door's locked because there's water in it. So um, our friendly washing machine repairman is going to come tomorrow. Very nice of him on a bank holiday weekend. To drain the water so we can get the door open. Then we'll worry about it next week. The only problem I've got is I've got all of Jennifer's school clothes in there. So tomorrow, plans have changed. So I'm going to have to go to my mum's to get the washing done. Fortunately, she lives up the road. I can put it in a couple of bags, take it up there, sit there, bring it back and dry it here if necessary. 
Oh, she'll try it there, whatever. So I don't know what I'm going to be doing tomorrow other than that. It's just so annoying. I got this book today. You'll see it in a book haul at the end of the month. I think this is so underrated. You never hear anybody talking about Black Beauty. But I love it. So I'm going to be reading this soon. Um, I loved it as a kid. It's very sad, but I love it. So, uh, yeah. I'm going to dry my hair and read my, Jack, read my Jack the Ripper book that's fictional stories. Uh, just simply because I always do that when I'm drying my hair and then I'm going to read a bit of my Jack the Ripper that I pulled from my TBR jar which is huge they've got about 400 pages still to go if not more um, but it is interesting it's going to take me a while it's not the one I would have hoped to have picked out but it could have been worse uh, no it couldn't have really but no, it's a good book it's interesting but you've got to be really into Ripperology to be interested in it so anyway I'm going to dry my hair and uh, I'm just I always start yawning when I start talking to you guys, and I don't know why, I'm so sorry. Um, I'll update you before I go to sleep. Who knows what time that might be, though. I plan on having a good read tonight. Quick update, I just read uh, another one of the Ripper fictional stories. It was a very good one, actually. I quite enjoyed that one. Um, I'm going to take my medication, and I'm going to settle down for the night and uh, read a bit more of the other Ripper book. And then I think I am going to start, if I can find it, Yes, uh, The Curse of the Pharaohs by Elizabeth Peters. But I do want to try and get a chunk of Jack the Ripper done. Um, <clears throat> yeah, very happy with that. I'm tired, but uh, it's not that late yet, but I'm going to just snuggle down and, and read for a bit. Um, so I might catch up with you a bit later on. Depends on uh, how quickly I end up in going to sleep. I don't know. See you in a bit. Good morning. It is Saturday. Mark, the sorry, repairman has now been to. Um, sorry, drained the water out of the machine, so we've got the washing out. It's confirmed the machine's dead. That's fine. We will worry about it after the bank holiday, and um, let's take the washing down to Mum's, and we're off to Newport to get something. Um, then I'm going to Tesco get some cat food. <sighs> then back to Mum to sort out more washing. It's pretty horrible out there. Don't know if we're going to the party in the park. It's just I don't want to go in this weather. I'd rather stay at home and just tidy up and read and stuff. I read a good chunk last night. I read about 60 pages of the Jack the Ripper book. I didn't start another one. I'm just trying to work through it. And I'm nearly, nearly eight hours now. Still two days to go. Stay in tomorrow. So hey, let's get this done. Jennifer's having a bounce. You like the trampoline, don't you, babe? Yeah. <laughs> We're in the pub now. I'll tell you all about it later, but it was great. We got to hold a mere cat. Okay, so everybody's in bed, and that's fine. I'm going to read for a bit now. I haven't played my games. Um, yeah, so we got to hold a meerkat, so we went on to the coronation party. We weren't going to go, but we did in the end. And Jennifer went on the trampolines, as you saw, and we had an ice cream, and then we saw that they had some animals. But we didn't know what they were, so we went to have a quick look, and it turned out, I don't know what else they had, they probably had more there. And they had some, the meerkats, and these were, um, rescued meerkats. They lived in an animal sanctuary, um, because they were thrown out of their group, for whatever reason and um, so they're very domesticated and they had two of them one called Simples and I can't think of the other one's name and Simples was nestled in him in the hood of the, per the animal person that looked after him and he was very cuddly and we were allowed to hold him so Jennifer went first and, and then I had to go and then Paul did I didn't get any film because obviously it was very crowded it was very noisy and we just wanted to to hold the meerkat and let them have some peace. So if I remember and I edit it together properly on Monday morning when I get up, um, I'll try and put a picture of the meerkats, me and Paul, in there for you to see. Um, if not, they are on my Instagram, which is, I think it's andyp underscore 74 or something. Um, and on my Facebook and everything. So, but yeah, it was so cute. And, uh, we went and had a hot dog and quit drinking in the pub, as you saw. 
and then we came home. And now everybody's in bed, and I am going to uh, take any my medication I take every night, and my vitamins and stuff, and I'm going to snuggle down, and I might read for a bit. So I'm trying to sort out all the books I've got, so I can tidy this room up, because there are books everywhere. And I've got a little cupboard over there where the boiler used to be. The boiler is still in there, it used to be a tank. Um, but there's space on the floor to put some bags, so I'm going to put some book bags in there. Um, so what I'm doing is everything I've got this year so far, except for stuff I've got this month, is going to go into one of those bags and into the cupboard for now. As I, and when I want to read one, then of course I will pull it out anyway. Then all the other books that are in the TBR jar will remain in the cart, on the side here, but by doing that it means I can pull some more down off the shelf in the bedroom and clear some space there. And um, the only ones I'm going to keep out are the Darren Shan zombie series, because I'm actually reading that. So, and then what happened when I read, read that one and I go on to a different one like the Demonata or the vampire ones, I'll pull that entire series out and put it on the cart, so it's like that. So that's how I'm going to work it for now. Um, picked up another book from my mum's, which is Jojo Moyes, The Giver of Stars. It's one I picked up for her in Tesco a couple of weeks ago, and I thought, well, bring it home. I'll always take it back to her later. Um, but yeah, so there's that. So the plan then is I've got a bedside cabinet here, which has got a ton of can of Cokes on it. As you can see, they've got to go. And a stack of books. So these are all books that are in the TBR jar, except for the two Marilyn ones. And what I tend to do is, behind that, I stack the books I've read. So because I'm talking to I want to clear that shelf and just have the books I'm currently reading there. And then I have another one this side. You see it, it's got all the books I've got, or some of the books I've got this year, um, recently, apart from ones that are already in a bag. So as they're not ones I've got this month, I can pull them, put them all in the bag, and then I can put... Uh, the ones I need to haul on there and I'll know exactly where I am because otherwise I get so confused. So I'm going to read for a bit. Cat snuggled up here on the bed because she follows me around because I am her human. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to read for a bit and I will see you soon. Hey guys, it's Sunday afternoon. Jennifer is at a party. So she went to football this morning. We did a bit of shopping, popped to mum's. I'm back home and I'm tidying up the bedroom, sorting out the books. I'm just knackered, so I'm having to tidy up. Because there are books everywhere, I'm trying to put the books somewhere out of the way. Sort them out. So I'm just doing that, it's not very really exciting, but hey, I'll get there. <laughs> I better get on with it, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so I didn't wrap up last night, it's Monday morning now, so I'm wrapping up Sundays. Um, I read for a total of just under, by two minutes, nine hours, so I'm really happy with that. Um, yeah, I'm off to do some stuff now. I'm going to pick up some washing from my mum's and just carry on tidying up around the house. Not a very exciting day, but I will see you soon. Bye, everybody.